Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Jessica Nicole, and I'm a self-published author of YA fantasy romance novels. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing my 2023 goals um, with you guys, as well as just giving you a quick little tour of my Notion. Um, I have been using Notion for a little while now, and I love it just for staying organized. And this year, I have a lot of things that I'm trying to do. I have a lot of moves I'm trying to make in life, and I need to make sure that I'm staying organized um, so that I can stay on track and accomplish my goals. So here we go. Um, I have three like big mega pages is basically what I call them on my Notion. I've got my planner page. I've got my Jessica Nicole page, which is basically my writing related page and then I have my me time page um so I'm gonna go through and explain each one of these to you guys real quick okay my planner page I've got <clears throat> at the very top I've got my 2023 goals here just as a bulleted list um on notion it's really easy to switch out like how you want to format things and I wanted to keep this as a bulleted list rather than a toggle because um Every time I open my Notion, I'll have to see these goals and kind of reevaluate where I am with them. And then I have my word for 2023, which is leap. I want to kind of stop thinking myself out of things that I want to do. And I just want to leap and have faith that everything's going to work out, that I have prepared myself and um, that I can accomplish these things. So um, my goals, I want to read at least 36 books um I ideally would like to read more so yeah I'd ideally like to read more books but I really want to read at least 36 books because that's at least three books a month that's a new book every 10 days give or take and yeah so I feel like that's a realistic goal but um that's like my baseline I'd like to read more than that also, my baseline is I want to publish six novels. Um, I'm writing my novels in duology format just because um, it makes the most sense from a storytelling perspective um, and from a business perspective. So I'm going to try to publish six novels this year. I'm definitely going to publish at least six novels this year not try but if I end up with more then that's fine so I'm looking at publishing a novel at least every other month um number three I want to earn a full-time income authoring so just a full-time income from my writing and writing related things um because eventually this is what I want to do full-time I want to be a full-time author so I want to move into that realm and put a little bit more focus and effort into it. I want to cook more. Um, I signed up for HelloFresh and I've been enjoying it. Just trying out new things and most of the time it goes pretty well. So um, yeah, I think I've been a little bit healthier. Um, I got the meat and veggies plan and it's been working out well. So I want to cook a little bit more. I want to get my own place. Um, I've been going through the process for about a year now of getting a tiny house. I bought land. I got it surveyed. I've been doing all the legalese and all the jumping through all the hoops in the red tape and trying to make sure everything's going to work out, city codes and everything. But yeah, I really want to get my own place this year um, just because... Um, I want to create daily, so I've been pretty good about this, just journaling daily or definitely got into the habit of writing daily and um, just doing other story work, like planning for future stories or whatever, just daily. I want to be in a creative space. Um, I want to make self-care a priority if, instead of an afterthought. I want to make it just something that I do automatically, just part of my normal daily routine. Um, I want to learn more about my craft. I want to really just step up my game when it comes to all things author related. Um, I want to strengthen my faith. So I am a Christian. That is a huge part of me. And I want to make sure that it 
you know, works its way back to the center of my life and everything that I do. And I'm, like, spending time with God and also just having more faith in, you know, the promises of God, what he's promised me about my life and my future and just kind of goes back to leap and stepping out on faith. And then finally, I want to chase my bliss and count my blessings, which means I want to just choose joy and choose to look on the bright side and just go after the things that give me that joy. Um, I have a page here for my finances, which we are not going to explore, but it's just the regular finances, the free template here on Notion um, that helps you calculate and keep track of how much money you're spending and helps you budget. Um, I highly recommend it. It's very simple, easy to set up and yeah. Uh, but we're not going to go into that because finances are a little bit too personal. I have a toggle here for to do's, um, just for daily to do's. And I haven't filled this in yet, but I'll go ahead and fill it in here with you guys. I need to read two chapters of For the Throne. That's the current book I'm reading. I'm going to talk a little bit about my TBR. Well, I have a whole video about my TBR, but I'm going to show you my TBR. Um, in just a second. I also need to write um, 400 words today in Moonshot, which is my first book in my Crimson Silver duology. Um, I need to film and upload a YouTube video, which is this video here. And I'm going to leave it there for now. But when you're done with something, you can just check it off like that. And it's really cool. So I plan on using this kind of daily and or if not daily, then at least weekly and checking things off just to keep track of what I have to do. Because if I don't write it down, if I don't see it physically, it's kind of difficult for me to actually accomplish everything I need to accomplish. Um, My 2023 TBR... Here are the 36 books that I'm going to read. I talked about them in my videos. I'm not going to go into all of them. So far, I've read one. I've read Hooked uh, this January, and I enjoyed it. Working on For the Throne and The Final Gambit simultaneously right now. Um, putting more emphasis on For the Throne because it is um, a physical book, and those take me a little bit longer to read because I have to like sit down and actually read them. I can put on my audiobook and my headphones and, you know. Okay, and then I've only done January right now, but I want to um, create, like, these toggles for each month. So, basically, when I click, if it's going to let me, yeah, when I click that little triangle, that'll all disappear. But I click it again, and I have a section for January goals, and then for favorite things from the month, um, my January goals pretty simple I want to read at least three books I want to put the finishing touches on Moonshot I want to plot Moonrise which is the second book in that duology I want to plot the first book in my Rush duology um which I'm planning on doing starting out writing this summer um, and then I want to write my prologue for Winter Birds book one. So I talked a lot about Winter Birds in December. Um, I'm planning on putting out the first book in that duology this December in 2023. And I have big plans for a prologue that I kind of want to write now while we're still in like wintry mode, even though it's not cold here in Texas. I want to uh, post 10 YouTube videos. And I haven't filled in favorite things of the month. That's why the little triangle is gray. Um, but when I do um, film this, I want to, like, include pictures and quotes and, I don't know, movie trailers and all kinds of things there. I have, like, big plans for that section. And then, like, at the end of the year, I can go back and kind of have, like, a little scrapbook. So that's my planner page. 
my I'm gonna skip the Jessica Nicole page for now because it's long I'm gonna go to the my the me time page so I have my reading list here um so far I just filled in the books I'm planning on reading for January but this is just another notion template and I have the book that I've read my rating for it so this is like a little sneak peek to my January wrap up um when I finished it it's got a place for you to add a picture of it um I got some notes like trigger warnings about the book um things I liked about it things I didn't like about it so much so this helps me remember like why I gave the book that rating and then I just have the summary from Amazon for the book and I like that you can mark it like um your progress got a place for the author yeah it's even got a place where you can link it if you were going to share this page with someone else and I did watch list here um and then just a couple of things I've watched and because my YouTube not my YouTube my Netflix watch list or my watch list where I'm trying to watch things I will have a little time to watch Netflix and then I will forget what I wanted to watch or I'll get so overwhelmed with all the choices that I just added to my Netflix list because it kind of just compiles them all together um so this way I figure I can like divide them by genre and break them all down and you know it depends on what I'm in the mood for if I'm in the mood for a reality show or romance whatever I can just scroll through here and find what I want to watch okay and then I have meals which is just what it sounds like it's um things I like to eat meals I like to cook um this has just really helped me I've had this page a while um has really helped me when I'm just in the store trying to make groceries and my social anxiety kicks in because there's so many people in the grocery store and I can't think so this helps me if I decide that I want to eat um, yogurt and granola bowls for breakfast that week. I can just like go get my ingredients for yogurt and granola bowls and I don't really have to think about it. So super helpful. Highly recommend that if you have social anxiety in the grocery store is a nightmare for you too. Um, I've linked my Amazon wish list just because I told you guys like I want to make self-care more of a priority for me and that includes retail therapy um so I want to spoil myself a little bit make sure I'm doing that from time to time so I have my Amazon wish list here I also have like my skincare e essentials and routine um just the products that I like because my skin is very finicky and I finally found things that work relatively well so yeah don't want to try new things when it comes to that I don't want to try new things when it comes to my hair care either my hair is just as finicky as my skin so yeah I have my three little hair care products that I use and that work and then my Jessica Nicole page this is like my more business page I have pages linked here so that's like the big mega landing page and then I have these smaller pages um YouTube content I just made this a to-do list and I'm just checking off things that I've done. So I'm doing this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and check that one off. Checking off videos I've done. It's just super simple. Author knowledge is just things that I learn about being an author. Things that I've decided. Like I've decided that I'm going to get better at plotting. Especially since I'm writing duologies. Like they need to be connected the story needs to like continue and flow seamlessly from one book to the other so I need to plot a little bit better um and then these are individual pages for my individual duologies these are ideas so it's just basically a brain dump of my idea for that story and I have I believe 80 something ideas right now and then like I'll have links here to things like these are TikToks <laughs> that kind of relate to this story it's a ballet story so I don't know too much about ballet I've never danced ballet I always wanted to but um I found TikToks of ballerinas like showing how to break in point shoes and things like that knowledge I might need so I kept those 
I've got um, this YouTube video linked here for Phoenix Blood. I've got like a couple TED Talks linked up here. Not TED Talks, but like those TED Ed videos that are super helpful, honestly. And I've got them linked um, to particular stories. So yeah, I have 89 stories. And I want to create a page here. So I'm going to click the plus sign, click page. And I'm going to call it Character Quirks. Because when I'm trying to add like a little quirk to a character, it's kind of difficult to kind of, I don't know, remember off the top of your head character parts. Um, so I want a little section for that. Just like I had a sec I have a section here for possible titles. It's just a toggle list there. Um, just general knowledge, things that I might need, like um, the meanings of flowers, stories behind constellations. I find the Library of Alexandria very interesting, and I want to base something on that. I don't know what yet. Um, table etiquette. <laughs> Maybe that'll be important to a story at some point. Um, just some little notes and things that I might want to use, like an abandoned theme park, a jar of doll heads. I don't know where that came from, but um, maybe I had a weird dream about a jar of doll heads, and I think that that would be a good story. I don't know. And then I have a section here for names. So I have this whole little list of town names here. Right here. And then I have this other separate page for like character names. It's very sparse at the moment, but yeah. Because sometimes it's like you're writing and you need a name for this character, but you don't want to sit there and like take a lot of time to think of it. And it takes you out of the story a little bit. And then there's this whole website for fantasy name generators. There's all kinds of things. And then this essentials page, I think I've shown you guys before, but it's just like I like I put ways here to take breaks. I put like my why for why I write when writing gets kind of difficult. Um, when I'm doing sprints, I like to take breaks. So here's like 10 break ideas. Here's like how I like to set my space. I like to kind of make writing sort of more of a ritual if you will so I like to have music um soft lighting a candle or my um wax melter going yeah and that's pretty much it for my notion um hopefully this was interesting if not helpful <laughs> maybe it was helpful maybe it gave you some ideas not really a tutorial just a little tour and just to look at what I'm going to be focusing on this year with my goals. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.